Okay, the following table shows the mean and standard deviation of marks of maths and physics scored by a student. Okay, look at this. So I have a mean maths and physics is here. So mean and standard deviation. So maths mean is 84, mean of physics is 81. Standard deviation of maths is 7, standard deviation of physics is 4. Okay, so let us write. So we know you know mean mean oh by the way before that let y equals to maths let y denote maths and x denote physics physics okay so if i do that then we know now what we know is mean of maths is 84 so maths stands for y so can i say y bar equals to 84 because the symbol for mean is y bar and x bar is 81 and standard deviation symbol is sigma x and sigma y sigma x means mean standard deviation for physics that's 4 and sigma y that's the standard deviation for uh, maths that's 7 you can use any symbol x and y I used y for maths and x for physics you could have used just the opposite also not a problem okay so therefore now look at these data look at these data looking at these data I think the most apt formula here is the last formula that I have discussed in the first video that is I just need to find now let me see what do I need to estimate I need to find physics marks in physics if the marks in maths is 92 so physics estimate physics when maths is 92 that means uh, estimate physics that's x on y that's x on y okay so i'll have to find x on y let me write it down here somewhere i'll circle and write x on y i have to work for x on y okay so therefore i just need to find bxy because x on y for x on y i just need bxy okay so how to find bxy uh, the formula for uh, with these data with these data are uh, you can check the formula it is bx a sigma x by sigma y into rho okay rho is the correlation coefficient sigma x and sigma y are standard deviation okay by the way rho is given let me show you where is rho rho is here 0 0.86 okay great so let me put the values that would be 4 by 7 into 0 0.86 that would give me use your calculator 3.44 divided by 7 and that's 0 0.4914 and that's approximately rounding it up 0 0.49 okay that's the regression coefficient of x on y that's bxy so let me highlight this that's sorry uh, let me highlight this here 0 0.49 okay great now once i found bxy therefore regression regression equation of x on y would be x minus x bar uh, equals to bxy y minus y bar that's the very simple formula that we have discussed earlier x minus what is x bar 81 equals to bxy 0 0.49 y minus 80 okay as simple as it can be now just simplify this and here you have the regression equation so x equals to x minus 81 equals to 0 0.49 y minus it should be 41.16 x equals to 0 0.49 y minus 41.16 and it transposes plus 81 that would give me x equals to 0 0.49 y plus 39.84 so here we have the uh, let me highlight it in a different color so here we have the regression equation that's x on y great let's estimate now how to estimate um, the y marks is given the y value is given y value means uh, y stands for here maths so what is the maths marks 92 when uh, y that is maths uh, equals to 92 so what will be x so x equals to 0 0.49 into 92 plus 39.84 that's this one I have used this equation that would give me let's simplify this 45.8 uh, plus 39.84 that is 84.92 or rounding it up marks that's 85 